This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Introduction Gender issues such as equality between men and women and gender roles evoke strong reactions in the contemporary world. Much like race, ethnic, and class stereotypes, gender stereotypes, exclusion, and discrimination are central to politics in many countries. In particular, issues of feminist exclusion and discrimination characterized by relatively low political participation of women remain unresolved and often elicit negative feelings in many societies. Additionally, these issues shape a society's politics, especially the policies of left-wing parties and feminist activist groups. For this reason, gender issues in contemporary societies require a cautious approach when addressing them. Gender issues, particularly gender equality, roles, relations, and political participation, are common stereotypes despite the massive awareness campaigns and legislation on these issues. Ideally, studying gender aims at promoting knowledge about gender exclusion and discrimination as well as encouraging respect for the rights of minorities. However, the high sensitivity in politics of gender issues with respect to economic, cultural, and social inequalities are obstacles to studying gender. In addition, sample participation in gender studies is low, thus, decisive conclusions cannot be made. Future research should focus on understanding the gender roles within social contexts rather than on inequalities. Significant Challenges to Studying Gender Most scholars studying gender issues focus on gender roles as opposed to studying the broader gender identity along with its cultural, social, and economic aspects. In particular, the social roles of each gender vary across cultures, therefore, studies should focus on cultural aspects. Stitt and Burke's study analyses the causes of social oppression against women as well as ways of fighting discrimination. In addition, other studies focus on social feminist movements and analyze the causes of feminist political activity as opposed to focusing on the social, cultural, and political background of gender disparities. In my view, the ever-increasing interest in gender roles faces stiff opposition from cultures, which hampers effective study of gender issues. Indeed, masculinity and femininity are not only based on the sexes, but also on the cultural and social conditions of an individual. Burke's study shows that observed differences in social behaviors between women and men result from the cultural and cultural expectations of each gender. Traits and temperaments that are generally linked to one sex are, in fact, present in all the sex groups. In addition, far more variability in roles or identities does exist within each gender. Burke's study concluded that the patterns of temperament vary among societies. In most societies, males exhibit active and competitive temperaments, while females are more cooperative and expressive. However, according to Burke and Cast, in some societies, males show cooperative and expressive temperaments while females are more competitive. Consequently, their social roles are different compared to other societies. This shows that gender studies should be a function of social and cultural factors. In my view, studying gender should be in the context of the prevailing cultural and social factors in a given society. Gender Identities in the Different Cultures Gender studies also face the challenge of defining gender identity in social and cultural contexts. The gender identity phenomenon has many aspects. Certain behaviors, attitudes, and attributes are exclusive to either males or females. However, the underlying issue is society's view of the qualities of being feminine or masculine. Culturally, physical attributes, traits, and occupational preferences reflect masculine or feminine gender identities. A study by Burke and Cast established that individuals base their personal qualities on culturally defined gender characteristics to define themselves as feminine or masculine. Moreover, gender identities tend to be more variable depending on the internalized behaviors that the individual engages. The behaviors then shape their identities and, by extension, their social roles. 
In this regard, studying gender faces the challenge of defining gender identity in the context of a given culture. In my opinion, studies should use a multidimensional approach as gender roles relate to gender identities, which are both dependent on social and cultural factors. In addition, gender inequality and underrepresentation in any given society influence gender studies. The politics and gender polarization in contemporary societies, in my view, hampers objectivity in gender studies with regard to political participation and representation in leadership. In my opinion, future work on gender should focus on how societal institutions, including political institutions, religion, and economic structures, can modify gender identity. Among the most significant challenges of studying gender is the issue of gender identity in the context of cultural structures. In this way, socialization can be improved in many social settings. Secondly, gender studies should focus on cross-cultural and subcultural differences in order to understand the meaning of masculine and feminine roles and identities in the context of that culture. Since such roles or identities are not universal, the studies should provide insights into a society's division of labor, power structure, and responsibilities, as well as help to modify the challenges of defining gender identity and roles. Gender Attitude Studies Gender attitudes involve common views associated with an individual's gender and are variable across cultures. In most cultures, masculine attitudes reflect justice, while feminine attitudes in most situations tend to be in terms of care. In particular, gender role attitudes shape gender roles and identities. By extension, gender role attitudes influence the reproductive behaviors, family relationships, and the political participation of each gender in any given society. Accordingly, children develop their gender role attitudes from their experiences with social structures, including the family and society. From these early experiences, the children identify the appropriate masculine and feminine roles within society. The gender role attitudes can be traditional, such as men providing for the family and women caring for children, or untraditional, where roles are assigned based on ability or circumstances regardless of gender. Additionally, the untraditional gender roles differ from culture to culture. As a result, gender attitude studies should be done across cultures in order to draw meaningful conclusions. Gender attitude studies conducted involving Caucasian middle-class adults alone cannot be conclusive. Firstly, the studies involve adults instead of children or adolescents whose present gender role attitudes have an impact on their roles in adulthood. Secondly, in my opinion, gender role attitude studies should involve societies with a history of gender inequality and discrimination. In particular, the studies should involve the African Americans whose attitudes on gender roles have implications on gender participation in public affairs. Conclusion Gender studies in contemporary societies often face challenges from underlying social and cultural factors. Precisely, gender roles and gender identity are dependent on the cultural and political constructs of a particular society. In addition, these factors determine the political participation of either gender and are variable across cultures. In my opinion, studies should focus on understanding gender roles and identities and how they are shaped by gender role attitudes across many cultures. Did you like this gender studies and society sample? To get more works like this one, make sure to check out the free database of academic paper examples at ivypanda.com. You will find thousands of samples for all your study needs without even having to register.